Welcome to the first of your introductory res diary training videos. Please ensure that you watch these videos before you take part in your first training session. In this one, we'll be covering your dish cult listing, logging into your diary and going through an overview of the main diary features. This is Dish Cult, our restaurant discovery and booking platform. Every venue that signs up to Res Diary also appears on dishcult.com and the Dish Cult app, available for iOS and Android. Through Dish Cult, you can receive commission-free reservations directly into your live diary. The information for your listing is taken from the initial setup doc you will have filled in when you signed up, and the rest can be controlled from within your diary. To log into your Res Diary system on desktop, go to login.resdiary.com, then enter your username and password. These will be given to you in your first training session. If you forget your password, just click on the Can't Log In button and we'll send a link to reset your password to your registered email address. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to this screen in your home restaurant on the current day. Here, you can see your restaurant's time slots across the top, with the orange line indicating the current time. The grey area at the end of the day is the time between your last orders and the time you close. Make sure the grey space is long enough to seat your last tables of the evening. If not, you can change this in the Services section of the Diary Settings. There is a tutorial explaining how to do this in detail linked in the video descriptor. On the left-hand side, you'll see the areas of your venue listed as you describe them in your setup document and the tables that are in each area. The table numbers are listed, as are the numbers of covers that each table can hold. If you want to see other dates in your diary, the controls for this are at the centre of the top bar. You can click the arrow buttons to jump forward or back a day, the date to bring up a calendar to find a specific date, or below there are direct links to the next five days. If you want to see other diaries in your group, if you have more than one, go to the drop down on the far left and pick your venue. You can view your bookings in three different ways. The running order offers a chronological list of your bookings for the day. The table plan view is great for in-service and gives you a clear view of what's going on on your floor. Grid view gives you a comprehensive overview of your reservations. On the grid view, the horizontal bars on the grid represent reservations. The number on the left indicates the amount of people in the reservation. The colour of the bar can represent a range of information and depends on the options shown on the view management section. When the view is set to channel, the colour of the bar represents the channel that the booking came through. For example, internal, online, Facebook or specific booking partners. You can see what each colour represents by clicking on the View Management section and select what information is shown by clicking the heading. You will see that some reservations have small icons to the right. These represent information like if they have VIP, if they have paid a deposit, whether there are important comments on their booking and more. You can see what each icon means by pressing the L button on your keyboard to bring up the booking icons legend. By hovering over a reservation, you'll be able to see the comments that are attached to the booking. Some reservations may have this symbol too. This means that the customer has been told either online or by a member of staff that their table is required back by a certain time. You may also notice that different reservations have longer time slots than others. 
This will be due to the differences in party sizes, with larger groups usually having longer than smaller ones, or if there are special menus set up that require more time at the table. These settings are controlled by you. If you click on a reservation, this will bring up a spider menu with more information and options. From here, you can cancel reservations, confirm them or even edit them in the booking process. The booking tool is covered in detail in the next training film. On the right side of the diary, you have a menu consisting of a wait list, next free tables and expected arrivals. The wait list shows how many parties are waiting and how many have been seated. Tap on the icon to bring up the full menu. This section lets you know what your next free tables are, for different party sizes and a quick and easy way to enter walk-ins. In the expected arrival section, you can see what parties will be arriving soon, the group size and where they will be seated. If you see a flashing bell, that means it's a new reservation that has recently been made. Looking to find a past, current or future reservation? Typing their name, number or booking reference into the Magic Search box will bring up their reservation details. Magic Search also works when you try to find a help article in our help desk. To access the full help desk, click the help icon and the knowledge base option. To contact our support team, click raise a ticket and get a response 9am to 9pm, seven days a week. You can find useful information about your diary, schedule initial and advanced training sessions or request a demonstration of our Res Diary add-ons via our customer hub at sales.resdiary.com forward slash Australia forward slash customer dash hub. There are also a range of support films and demos covering a variety of diary features on our YouTube channel. So click subscribe to stay up to date.